Hey guys, I'm going to do a video real quick. This one for UFC Vegas 72. The co-main event of the last fight night video that I made got canceled and pushed on to the main event of this fight night. So for the main event in this one, we'll see Song Yudong against Ricky Simone. And at the moment, I'm taking care of a baby kitten right now. So if you hear any little meows or anything like that in the video, that's what that is. So let's dive on in. We're going to start off with Hadolfo Vieira against Cody Brundage. Starting off with Cody Brundage, he lost his last fight. He's 2-2 two two inside of the UFC. He's got four knockouts, three submissions, and one decision win inside his whole career combined. Cody's an experienced wrestler. I think he may have the stand-up edge in this fight just slightly. He does tend to be pretty aggressive and likes to push the pace a bit. And I see him definitely pushing a higher pace than Vieira will whenever they're on their feet for sure. But when it comes to the ground, this seems to be a very close match. But I'm definitely going to give the grappling advantage to Rodolfo Vieira. And I really think he's going to try to out-pressure Vieira, probably try to push him against the cage and look for a takedown from there and just try to out-wrestle him. But I think that game plan is not going to work for Cody Brundage because Adolfo Vieira is a very well-known, highly elite-level grappler. He's an ADCC gold medalist. He's got 20 total medals from the years 2009 to 2015. And out of all those medals, only four of those are silver. The rest are gold. So 16 gold medals in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specifically. He's 3-2 and two inside of the UFC. Uh, looking back at his most recent fights, it seems that he's only uh, kind of starting to get a grasp on the stand-up skills. While he's not bad on the feet, he definitely needs to improve more. And that's why I think Cody Runders is going to have a bit of an advantage there because Cody, we've seen him get a bit aggressive on the feet and uh, tend to look for finishes. And a lot of times in the midst of that, he will find himself pushing his opponent against the cage and looking for a takedown or even just getting a takedown uh, out of nowhere because of the high pressure, high volume. But the way Cody fights kind of tries to lean his opponent into uh, eventually going to the ground with him one way or another. And Vieira, I think, has the advantage here on the ground for sure. And in this one, I'm going to be taking Vieira. Vieira's got seven submission wins throughout his career, and I feel something similar coming in this one, so I'm going to take Adolfo Vieira by submission. And now for the co-main event, Chao Bohayo against Mikhail Oleksaychuk. Starting with Mikhail, he won his last two fights against Cody Brundage and Sam Alvey, both by knockout in the first round. And is currently 6-3 and three inside of the UFC, with five of those wins being by knockout. He's a very dangerous, aggressive striker. He doesn't overload his combos too much, so you don't really see him put himself in a very vulnerable position that often. He knows exactly when to fire, but for the most part, will fire at just about any opportunity given. And that's not always a good thing, because not every opportunity is the one that you need to capitalize on. There's a couple of times where you might see an opportunity, but you're going to get caught going into that opportunity. And it could very well cost you. And in the past, we've seen Mikhail put himself in states like this every now and then. It's not too rare. But in those situations, he'll get rocked and end up having to backpedal and uh, get away from his opponent and try to recover a little bit and maybe even have to mix it up a bit and get a little sloppy. Now, Chabahayo is uh, similar to like Paulo Costa in the way that he he really doesn't seem to mind mixing it up in the way that I just mentioned. You know, normally he doesn't mind slugging it out a little bit, but he's a very well-rounded fighter. Uh, he trained with Damian Maya for seven years. He's 13-1 and one throughout his entire career, 12-fight winning streak, 3-0 and oh inside of the UFC, so far undefeated in the UFC. All those wins come by way of decision, but still looks very impressive so far. With his last two wins being against Mahmoud Moranov and Armin Petrosian, both of those notable wins, he definitely shows to have a lot of potential. He's been in this sport for quite some time. He's shown a lot of potential, and uh, he's only gotten better and better in, with each fight inside of the UFC. The things that I'd really like to see him improve in is like uh, his uh, eagerness to advance position, whether it's on the ground or on the feet. Uh, he seems to be a bit too anxious to get into the action and uh, get to a better spot, which can be a good thing, but he needs to channel it into a patience and be able to use that and work with a more tactical way of fighting, especially against Mikhail Oleksaychuk. But I think on the ground, that's where Chao Buhayo is going to have the advantage in this fight, and I see him probably taking it to the ground. But even on the feet, I think he can put up a competitive enough fight to get the win. So for this fight, I'm going to take Chao Buhayo. Now the main event for this fight night was covered in my last fight night video because it was going to be the co-main event of Curtis Blades versus Sergey Pavlovich. Unfortunately, it got pushed back to this week, but now we get to see it as a main event, so that's a good thing. And now there's a bit more difference in this fight than there would have been last week. Because now this is a five-round fight rather than a three-round. Now Ricky Simone's got a three-inch reach advantage. He's coming off of five wins in a row. Those wins being over Marab Devalishvili, Rani Aya, Ray Borg, Rafael Asuncao, and Jack Shore taking his undefeated record. He's 8-2 and two inside of the UFC. He's a very well-rounded guy, but I think 
like I said in the last video, he'll probably have the ground advantage, and I think he's going to look to the grapple in this fight. And as for Song Yudong, he's five inches younger, two inches taller. He did lose his last fight to Corey Sanhagen in his first main event, but he did show heart in that fight, and I think he impressed more than a lot of people expected him to in that fight. He's got notable wins over Marlon Marias, Julio Arce, Casey Kenny, and Cheeto Vera. He's 8-2-1 inside of the UFC, so a pretty similar UFC record. He's also very well-rounded. He is aggressive yet patient at the right times, and I think he'll have the stand-up advantage. And like I said in the last video, I think Song Yudong is going to be coming home with a win. I mean, this is Ricky Simone's first five-round fight inside of the UFC, so this truly is a big test for Ricky Simone. Can he go the 25 minutes? Does he have the cardio to do it? Uh, is he going to be able to take damage over 25 minutes? Is he going to wear down over 25 minutes and lose by finish or uh, succumb to whatever Song Yudong puts him through? Because Song Yudong showed that he had the cardio and the heart to go through 25 minutes. I mean, he was arguing with a cut man in his last fight, no matter how bad that cut was, which it was terrible. He was arguing, no, I'm good. I want to keep going. And before the cut man came in to look at it, he looked geared up and ready to go for that fifth round. Even though he was losing the fight, he still had the determination to keep going and try to win. And I think that's probably what really does it in for me and Song Yudong. So for this fight, I'm going to be taking Song Yudong. And that's all I got for y'all. So to recap, I'll be taking Hidalfo Vieira, Chao Bahayo, and Song Yudong. Hit like, subscribe, and all that.